Hey guys, it is Citri here again with another RuneCraft 101 tutorial. This one is going to be about the Solar Flare rune, which I've just botched the construction of already. It is an extremely dangerous rune, so don't be surprised if on servers that you're playing on it has been disabled. It requires 8 glass, 1 gold block, 12 redstone wire, and 4 lava. And yes, I have backed up before using this rune. At least. I really ha hope I have. What it does is that it destroys things. Um, exactly how? I haven't quite worked that out. It's a bit inconsistent as you'll see, but it usually starts in a sort of a cylinder around the room. There's a bit of damage around there. I'll show you. Hmm, it's not working. Ah. Ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk. Boom. Yeah. So. Like I previously observed, it seems that almost as if a mighty blast comes down from the sun and hits things above the rune, doesn't always reach the rune itself. In this case, it blasted a more or less circular hole through the roof of my lab and the maze that was up there, and down to just above where the rune was itself, leaving bits of debris and sulfur scattered around the place for people to pick up. Going to play with this some more. Now, I was testing this the other day, and this is why it puzzles me, is because of the inconsistency. When I used this rune uh, underwater, uh, beneath our sea, um, it behaved differently, or maybe the same, as how it did when I was uh, in the end just now. The difference is that, well, it actually had a very powerful effect this time, but considerably less powerful effect when I was in the end, and I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, but in a moment I'll pan up and I will see and realize just how much damage has been caused and so can you. A big circular cylinder has been blasted down in the sea, which is what I was expecting to happen in the end. Um, a huge drill to go through all my stuff, but that didn't so much happen. So I am perplexed uh, as to why the rune is so inconsistent. But unlike when I was uh, in the overworld uh, at the sea, when I use the it on the surface here, or below the water, or, or whenever I use it here, I get vastly less impressive results, although they do happen down to the, the, the rune layer. So I'm thinking I just don't understand how this rune works behind the scenes, because you can see it's taken chunks out of uh, the end stone here, uh, but not in a very uniform pattern, and it's not quite clear to me exactly how this rune is meant to be behaving. Particularly puzzling is that I recreated the same conditions that I had before uh, with the attempt of with the desire to blow up the lake but this time nothing happened and I can't even tell if there was any damage down by the rune layer. So somewhat perplexed and not quite understanding and would appreciate any clarification that can be offered. I do know, we've, we've seen that it can be extremely powerful, but I don't yet understand how to fully utilize the power of the Solar Flare rune. So, maybe one of you guys do. Uh, if you do know, then share with me in the comments below, because I would dearly love to know. Um, thank you guys for watching, I hope you find this useful, and I will see you in another video. Cheers!